You know, if there's one thing every American has in common, it's getting bills. But there's one company here in Blair, Nebraska, that's made that their full-time job. It's the Mid-America Computer Corporation. They call it Mac. So I'm here to search out those tech jobs and see if we can find someone to talk to, hopefully the president. All right. Hey, Craig. Hi, Andy. Good to see you. Nice to see you, too. Thanks. I'm with Craig Amon. He's the president of Mac. And uh, tell us, Craig, what is it that Mac does? Mac is an information technology company located here in Blair, Nebraska, and we work for telecommunications companies throughout the United States, providing software and billing services to them. That's right, so you're producing bills and also handling the software development for these people so they don't have to do it themselves. Exactly. And that sounds like a lot of employees are needed. How many people do you employ here? We have just shy of 200 employees in this main facility here in Blair, Nebraska. Wide range of skill sets here, all the way from developers right down to the software support representatives and the technical support representatives to provide support to those customers. Wow, so what kind of levels of education do you have? What's the varying range? It's a, it, it is a wide range. We have people that come right out of school that go to work for us, out of high school that is, mm -hmm. as well as maybe a community college with an associate's degree. We have uh, associates with uh, master's degrees here, and so it's a wide range of educational background. All right, we're, we're yeah. going to try and find that perfect employee, someone who knows what it's like to work at Mac on a day-to-day -day basis. Thanks so much, Craig. Thank I you, Andy. It. All appreciate right, I'll it. see you. John? Hey, Hi. Andy. Nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet you too. All right, thanks for sitting down with me. Yeah. Uh, would you do me a favor and just tell me what you do at Mac? I am a systems analyst. Uh, create new software. Hmm. Um, more or less put enhancements in, uh, fix defect repairs, customer support, any customer's call, uh, I can help them. Hmm. And walk me through the education uh, you needed to get to where you're at right now. Uh, I went to SEC in Milford and I got a associate's degree. Uh, for computer programming. And what's your day-to-day -day job like? Every day has its own challenges. Uh, one day I may be doing defect repairs uh, and have a, a conference call with the client or uh, put in an enhancement and then you know customers call back with concerns about that enhancement. Other, other, either way, um, it's definitely different each day. John, if someone was considering going into the systems analyst field and software development, what would you say is your favorite part of that field? Okay, uh, my favorite part is definitely doing brand new enhancements, brand new sections of the software, starting from scratch, uh, all of it is mine. And yeah. then from there, you know, hearing the feedback from the client. Wow, well sounds great. Sounds like you've got high pressure job, different day to day, very unique, and uh, getting to start from scratch. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Sounds like you're doing well. Definitely. Yeah, you must enjoy it. I do, I do. Wow, well thanks you so yeah. much. I yeah. appreciate it. Yeah, no problem. When you put your computer to sleep, this is where it dreams. Our search for careers in the technology field has brought us here to the Omaha area at a little internet company you might have heard of. Let's check it out. This is Hobson Powell. He's the Senior Director of Advertising Operations for Yahoo. So, Hobson, of course, Yahoo is a household name. Everybody knows it. But tell me a little bit about what you're doing in Nebraska. Well, in addition to this data center location, we have another operations office, which is up in Omaha. And there we have about 250 people uh, right now. We've had tremendous growth. It's been open about four years. And there's a lot of roles where, that are working with our advertising customers, the people that keep the lights on at Yahoo. Wow, so uh, what kinds of careers are you gonna see? Um, we have account managers, salespeople, um, people that, that thrive in a, in a group environment where you're working on cross-functional teams, working directly with advertisers. You know, we also have a finance team over there where we're hiring you know, really smart uh, folks that are making sure all the numbers add up and uh, making sure we bill correctly and all that stuff. Now, when you say really smart people, are we talking anybody who's graduated high school? Do you need a college degree to come work here? Yeah, we, we hire, uh, we definitely have different levels of roles. So folks that come in with a lot of experience as well as fresh college graduates that come in and after a couple years with us, the, the sky's the limit in terms of where they can go. Okay, I'm with Chuck. Chuck, tell us what you do for Yahoo. I'm the uh, Senior Manager for Data Center Operations uh, for the Central U.S. and uh, Latin America. Wow, that sounds impressive. I'm sure it is. It's a mouthful. What, what are you doing day to day? 
Uh, day to day, I manage teams of uh, IT personnel and facilities personnel in data centers within the United States uh, and in South America to make sure that we're keeping our data centers up and running. Okay, and that's like the goal of what you're doing, right? Keeping 100% it up and running. uptime. Mm -hmm. I understand that. Now, uh, what's your favorite part of your job? Uh, the best part of the job is uh, it's, it varies day to day. Um, there's never anything that's the same. Um, I get to work with a lot of really talented people uh, and reach across a lot of different spectrums of Yahoo business units. So you're working with people and also with computers, with systems. Right, servers, filers, switches, um, large HVAC units that keep the, the data center cool, uh, large power distribution units that, that keep the power uh, power running. So yeah, a lot of different varied things. Yeah, how did you get into this type of job? Uh, right place, right time. Uh, I started out with a public relations degree, uh, worked in okay. PR for a little while, and then um, kind of moved on to try something different, kind of get my hands dirty a little bit. So I worked for an apprenticeship program for five years as an electrician. Um, kind of worked my way up that way. Um, got into um, management with the electrical contractor I worked with, was a general foreman uh, for the Yahoo job here in Nebraska. Um, and Yahoo hired me as a facilities engineer and kind of worked my way up from there. What's it like working for Yahoo? Uh, it, it's awesome. I can honestly tell you it's, it's the best job I've ever had. It really is. Wow. So it earned the exclamation point. It does. Years, like, the exclamation point is very well earned. Very well earned. Well, I appreciate you talking to me. Yeah, no problem. Love learning about Yahoo. It's keeping our data flowing. I'm in Lincoln, Nebraska at Huddle. It's a software company that's using the latest technology to do big things in sports, making sure that our teams are having winning seasons. Let's hope. Well, let's see what we can find, all right? Allie? Yeah, hey, hi. I'm Andy. Hi, Allie Nice Harmon. to meet you. Nice to meet you. Thanks so much for talking to us. Uh, so why don't you just tell me, what do you do at Huddle? Uh, I work on our business development team focused on selling Huddle to our club and our youth coaches. Hmm, nice, and so uh, what kind of educational background did you have in order to, to get this job? So I got a marketing degree from the University of Nebraska here in Lincoln, and then after that I went on, I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, so I got my master's in marketing, communications, and advertising as well from the University of Lincoln. What's it like working for Huddle? It seems like a really cool place to work, yeah. honestly. Huddle's a great company. Um, probably my favorite thing is just how everybody here uh, supports each other. We really you know, think that we're a family, so we enjoy coming to work every day, working with different people because you know, everybody is just so excited to, to be here every day. Yeah. And so what's the interview process like to come and work at Huddle? It's an interesting process. We, we definitely put people through a different you know, process, uh, different questions. We do some critical thinking questions to make sure people can think on their feet. And we also introduce them to a wide range of people at the company because culture fit is something that's really, really important to us. We want to bring people in who are going to fit into the family. That makes sense. Well, Ali, I appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Yeah, you're welcome. And now we're going to go see Brian, who is the CTO of Huddle. Let's see if we can find him. Brian, thanks for meeting with me. Hey, my pleasure. Awesome. I'm here with Brian Kaiser. He is the Chief Technical Officer and I just learned the co-founder of Huddle. So, Brian, why don't you tell me exactly what Huddle does? So Huddle is a set of tools for coaches and players. It's all about video analysis. So we help these coaches learn from their video, find tendencies, and help train players using it. Wow. And uh, that's all using like the latest software technology, is that right? Yeah, you know, we have a lot of fun with it. We like to use cutting edge stuff here. So, you know, it's all the latest technologies. It's, you know, something we really try to be innovative with. Wow. And it seems like just looking around and talking to some people who work here, it's a really fun environment that you've created here. Tell me a little bit about that. Thanks. We're really proud of the environment here at Huddle. Uh, it's all about having fun and working hard and accountability. And it's not accountability by the number of hours you work, it's about mm -hmm. the end result. You know, we really pride ourselves on amazing product that our coaches are passionate about and our environment reflects that. You know, we bring in free lunch every day, um, we have unlimited vacation policy, we just like to have a lot of fun here. Wow, and so who is your like dream employee? If you're looking to hire somebody, what kind of person are you looking for? First, I want someone that's passionate about what they do. And that's really what it boils down to. If you're passionate about development, passionate about helping coaches, then we want you here. That's our dream candidate. Wow. And so what kind of level of education might they have or what kind of major or background? 
In general, we hire people with a bachelor's degree. If I'm considering like a field to work in, something to go and choose my career, why do you think I should choose IT or software development? IT or software development is a great field to work in. You're creating things. You'll be able to make a product that users are passionate about using. And it's not just someone that's developing software. It requires a lot of different jobs to make the whole process work together. So even if you're not a developer, you can definitely be part of an exciting software company. Thanks so much. I appreciate your time, Brian. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. Have a good one.